feel like after, I feel like before any time I open these, I should have like a, a, a ritual or something, you know? Like, not praying exactly, but like praying. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and I go by Miss A Web on all platforms, which will be linked down below. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark as well as eBay. So on this channel, you'll find everything dealing with reselling from what sold videos to hauls to unboxings, as well as some tips and tricks along the way. If all that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can come back and see more of my videos. This is another unboxing of a liquidation order. If you don't know, liquidation or wholesale, they kind of interchange that word. Um, to me, wholesale was when you bought directly from a department store or some kind of um, dealer. So this is really when you buy from a website that has lotted up either used, gently used, or new attacks clothing and sells them in lots. So I say liquidation, but I don't know. I see websites use that word interchangeably. So this is a different website. I haven't talked about this one before. Um, just to go ahead and let you know, I am not going to reveal where I got all these lots. You know, I did my own research. I found lots that fit my price point, that fit what I was looking for, or fit something I thought I was looking for and was trying to experiment. Because everything is really based on how you're running your business, what you want to spend, and it also can really rely on like where you live. Because sometimes these lots, the price can go way up based on where their warehouse is. So, you know, just a little bit of research will, you'll be able to find something that suits your business and something that you're willing to spend the price for. So this is a little bit of an experiment. Um, found this website, have not really heard anybody talk about it before, um, but their stuff seemed really interesting. Not to mention they kind of do, what can I, what, like a sampling box. So you're not ordering a specific lot or box or palette. You're ordering like a sampling of the stuff that they have. Um, so I did purchase that sampling. It's supposed to be 50 high-end designer items. So I went on the website to get some details. Like it's high-end brands. Um, this is unmanifested. I remember that. It's men or women and mixed seasons. I also went on there because I couldn't remember if this was going to be new with tags or not new with tags. So when I went and purchased this, there were no reviews. There was a review when I just went now to look up some more details for this video and it wasn't good. <laughs> it was one review. It was not a good review and I'm a little nervous now. I was actually really excited about this box and now I'm nervous. But in that review, basically the person said, you know, none of it was new with tags where it was good brands. A lot of it had so much damage they couldn't actually sell the item or salvage the item. So super nervous. <laughs> um, but you know, it could be a mistake and I got to tell you, you know, just a hint to my video that'll come out kind of telling you all about my experience with liquidation is these are gambles and you definitely shouldn't take them if you can't afford to take them. Um, I know I say I'm a part-time reseller. It is, I, it is a part-time job. I have a full-time job, but pretty much everything I make goes back into the business. I'm trying to grow it and, um, generate like an, a, Probably I'm, I'm close to making almost as much reselling as I am at my job now. Not that, that that's that much, <laughs> but you know, just so you know, this isn't like vacation money to me or paying off credit card debt money to me. This is a business growing a business and using that money for that. So what I'm saying is these can be gambles. Don't spend your money. If you don't have that money to spend, don't go into debt for these pieces. Um, I mean, you basically want to have a sure thing if you're spending a, a lot of money on it um, because there are websites that manifest their um, lots that they send you so you can really look at them and they'll even spell out basically this is a striped sweater from Vince Camuto or whatever and you can judge you know, is this going to be worth it for the price point and what I hope to make off of it. This is not one of those things. This is a mystery box. Um, it's like I said, it's 50 pieces. Um, I think each piece ended up being about um, $6.50. So keeping that in mind, there could be men's, there could be women's, mixed seasons. Let's go ahead and see what I got. Cross your fingers. Okay. All right. Right off the bat, we have Walford. Walford? I mean, I know Wilfred. This is Walford. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, 
Walford, can you see that? That's not Wilfred, right? That's that's different things. It looks like a maxi skirt, but it's like an interesting. It's like a bodycon maxi skirt. It feels nice. I don't know what that is. I don't see any damage. I really should check really well, considering. Maybe this is like a bodysuit, like to suck the stuff in, kind of like Spanx. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up because I've never heard of that. But you know, just some clues that it might be a good item. One, it feels good. Um, obviously it was sold, I think at Nordstrom because it has a la last chance tag on it or Nordstrom rack and it feels nice. And the labels, you know, it only has one stitch on either side, which is normally um, a sign that something is good. So we'll look it up, but that is, I don't really know what it is. Is it a maxi skirt or a bodycon thing? Cause it, you know, it, it cinches in here at the bottom too. That's curious. Okay. All right. Looks like we have a vest. Hey, it's new tags. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is Castlon, which is also sold at Nordstrom. I know it's a size small and it's just like a, I don't know if it's real suede. I'll check. Vest. Oh, I remember my mother was like really into these. Um, let's see. It is new tags. So that's cool. Um, yeah. It's faux fur and polyester. So it's not like real leather, but it's still nice. You know, it's cute. Not mad about those two. Guys. Well, I don't know if I'm mad about the first one. I don't know what it is. <laughs> the second one's not bad. Okay. Oh, hey. New tags. Shh. Don't get your hopes up, Amanda. Don't get your hopes up. Okay. Vince Camuto, large, and it's just a blouse. But a very nice animal print blouse. Very in and a size large. I'm okay with new tags, Vince Camuto, the size large. Um, retail $89 and this is from the fall 2019. So it's not even that old. Okay. Okay. Oh, is this underwear? Is this used underwear? <laughs> oh my God. No. Well, I don't think it's underwear. I think it's like a boxers like to sleep in. Yeah. It's sleepwear. It's sleepwear. It's okay. <laughs> it's not used underwear. Anyway, it's Calvin Klein size medium. These are cute. These are for girls, right? These are for boys. It feels really nice. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's super cute. I could see a cute little Christmas thing going on. I think there's some more on top of that. I wonder if that's part of the 50 pieces. Um, so yeah, we have another pair. Maybe these are for boys. Maybe it is for boys. Um, this is an extra large, same, but um, in a red. And this is definitely underwear. So this is used underwear or pre-owned underwear because it doesn't have tags. I mean, I don't think it was used, but it doesn't have tags. So I don't think I can sell this, right? It's men's underwear size medium. I'm not sure how I feel about that, <laughs> but the, first, the sleepwear is fine. Um, okay, new with tags, two-way stretch board shorts by Ezekiel. I don't know. So swim shorts by that brand right there. So it's men's swim shorts. Actually, these are really nice. Hey, we're going on a vacation soon. Size 38. Okay, that's too big for my husband, I think. I don't really know men's sizing very well. But anyway, some little board shorts. Okay, these are nice and they're new with tags. I don't think I'm mad about that. Okay, here we got some pants. These are penguins, so men's pants, slim. Oh, they are, well, they have the buttons. It's not new with tags, but it has some buttons. So new without tags. 31, 32, and they're just like this. This is a really good fall color. It's like an orange um, slim leg pant. Okay, not too mad about that. I mean, these are like, it's a really good price. Six fifty an item's not bad. Um, let's see. Ben Sherman, which is, I don't remember where that's sold, but it's an extra, extra large. Just like a little zip up. Oh, it has the last chance tag here. Um, I'm not mad about it. It's pretty colors. It looks really comfy. You know, I don't think Ben Sherman or Penguin is a good brand, but you know, not mad. Get a gamble. Oh man, is this whole thing gonna be men's? Men's are not my favorite to sell. I think I might not have even noticed that it was all it was mixed when I bought it, but oh well. Wait, no, this might be women's. It's size six. Men's don't come in size six, right? Like these are 
These don't look like clothes. I don't know. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a polo. But does polo Ralph Lauren make women's? I don't know. I have to look into that. Am I stupid? I don't know men's sizing very well. Anyway, it's like a blush um, pink trouser pant, which makes, or khaki pant, which makes me think it might be me. Or men's. Okay, well. Nordstrom Men's Shop Non Iron Button Down. Oh, I think I look like a neat ironing, don't you? Look like a neat ironing. <laughs> um, anyway, size 33. And, or 34, 35, or 17. I don't know men's sizing. I'm not, I'm not bright like that. Anyway, just the button down. Ooh. What do, what, do, what do we have here? Is it messed up? I think the inside's messed up. Oh, it's Cathlon, again. Size large for Nordstrom Rack. Um, yeah, it's, it's damaged. Definitely damaged. I don't know, though. Well, no, it's definitely damaged. I mean, I don't, I mean, I think you could cut all these off, but probably not salvageable to sell, but possibly for me to wear, cause I'm a size large and I, I like this. So that might be what happens to this piece. Oh, don't have wool, don't have wool, don't have wool, don't have wool. Shit. Okay. 3% wool. Mm, I'll try it. We'll see. Okay. Is this leather? Fake leather? Okay. We got Cole Haan right here, size large. I've never picked up Cole Haan clothing. I've only picked up their shoes. Black faux, I'm assuming faux leather jacket, but let's see. No, genuine land skin leather. Wow. That's nice. I might have picked that up. I mean, I don't know why I assumed it was fake, because it does feel real. <laughs> but just, I guess I assumed it was. Okay, zip works. That's cool. I think it's a men's, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look some of these up, but I'm not mad about that. Okay, I think that's that vest again from Caslon. No, this one is from Susina, which is, uh, I think, a Nordstrom Rack House brand. Uh, but kind of the same thing, the vest. Um... See some more tags. This is 34 Heritage, the Courage Jean, 3432, mid-rise straight. So men's jean, white pair of pants. Okay, there's a lot of men's items in here. I mean, they're not bad men's items. I'm just not a fan of men's. This is Dockers. It is Dockers. Oh, I'm proud of myself for knowing that with that little symbol. But it's Dockers. Orange pants, slim tapered. Why oh, didn't know Le Dockers was owned by Levi Strauss? See, yeah, I don't know anything about men's. This is the thing. Um, it does have a tie here, so obviously, you know, they weren't owned. But just another pair of orange style. Oh, it does have the, this on it too. Orange styled. Um, trouser pant, like the other one. Okay. Why well, don't have be more than 50 items in here? Okay, slate and stone, extra, extra large. Looks like a camo windbreaker. Blue camo windbreaker. I like this. Um, I don't know this brand either. I guess sold at Nordstrom. I think a lot of these are sold at Nordstrom. Might be a men's, not sure. Okay. What we got? This looks like a um, sports jacket, which I'm not fond of, but that's okay. Hickey Freeman. That's a funny name. <laughs> Hickey Freeman. It is a sports coat, but men's sports coat. I don't really like selling these because they're very specific sizing normally. Um, I just, I used to buy them and they just don't sell very well for me. I don't see a size either. They're usually in the pockets. In the pocket, yeah, there it is. In the pocket, oh, the tag's in the pocket. Oh, look at that. Holy crud. This thing was on sale for $224? God, man, what is this? This is 100% wool, size 40. 
Dang. Workers United. Wow, dispensive. This is expensive bullet jacket. Right, that's expensive. Later, when I find, look through it more thoroughly. Original weatherproof vintage. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay. Heritage weatherproof. That's what it, that's what it is. Or weatherproof vintage. I don't know. Anyway, it's not like a therm a man's thermal. Um, new tag size, large. I don't know anything about men's brands. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, it's a bathing suit. It's a bathing suit. It's a woman's bathing suit. Oh, is this Ted Baker? No, it's not Ted Baker. It is Sea Level, Australian brand. Looks like a Ted Baker suit. Um, don't know this brand. Size 16. I went UK sizing, size 12, um, American sizing, which could work for me. And I'm going to Jamaica in two weeks. What? This might be fate. Let's look this up and see how much it goes for. But it is new tags. Okay. Another man's item. Oh, oh, hey, these are the pants to the jacket. I'm pretty sure because it's the same price. <laughs> um, yeah. These are the pants to that jacket. Okay. And it kind of looks the same. Yeah. Okay. They don't have a size on them though. Figure that out. This is a bra. Ooh. It's a, it's a sticky bra. Nope. Nope. That's not going to work. Double D sticky bra. Okay. Ugh, sticky. <laughs> of course it's sticky. Maybe you just said that. You can take this off though. It's not like, huh. Some of the stuff might be sent just for me, apparently. Okay, what is with the orange pants? <laughs> or the rust, oh, they're frame. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> so it's new with Dag's frame, men's frame. The La Home Slim, mid-rise slim fit, men's pants. <laughs> There's is a lot of this orange rust color pants in the men's. Was that like really big last season or something? Um, not mad about that though. Let's see, new with Tags. Reaction by Kenneth Cole. So you know what this looks like? So my husband's um, suit that he wore to our wedding was a navy blue Kenneth Cole. So <laughs> this kind of looks like it actually. So anyway, here's some pants. There's a lot of men's items. I'm gonna say that there are a lot of men's. Oh, this is cute. So yes, this is a woman's, I think. <laughs> um, Castellan, there's a lot of Castellan. Okay, extra, extra large. Just like a v-neck sweater or well wait a minute so it's like a crew neck at the front but a v-neck in the back well, like a v-back yeah okay i don't know cute i like the extra extra large cool okay oh here's that bonobos bonobos um, i have a pair of these up right now oh have they been tailored no they haven't tailored yes they have they have been tailored yeah they've been tailored see They've been tailored. So, even though they still have the tag on them, someone took them to be tailored. I mean, like, these are really obviously tailored. Like, you can see. Yeah. Okay. So, they were a 40. I don't know. Maybe my husband can wear these. I won't be able to sell those, though. Okay. What's this? John Vervados. I feel like I've heard that brand. Is it good? I forgot. As a man's. <laughs> I really don't know anything about men's. Oh, it's $139. It's probably, probably a good brand. <laughs> or at least an expensive brand retail. Size small. Wow. It's like a cargo jacket. Yeah, like, cause it has the cargo pockets. I've been showing the tags. I'm not sure. I think I did show this one, but anyway, this is a lot of men's. I mean, it's good men's, so I'm not like complaining. I guess I am, but you know, Peter Millar, um, men's cardigan. I'm assuming men's. Um, yes. Yeah. Men's apparel on sale for $45. So just, yeah, Peter Millar size large. Um, cardigan. I'm not really getting a mix of men's and women's, it's mostly men's. Let's cover up. 
let's see. Salt water solids. Oh, by O'Neill. Okay. Size large. Just a cover up, like a black bathing suit cover up, which you know I could use. I'm gonna put these to the side. It's kind of funny how some of this stuff is I could take on my trip in two weeks. It's funny. Um, I've seen this brand before. Doobie. Do plus B. Um, I think it's at the store. Was oh, this one shoulder? Yes, it's one shoulder black dress. It is new with tags. I don't know if one shoulder is very in right now, but that's fine. Size small. It's a black dress. I, mean, I don't know how I feel about the box so far. I mean, I like it, I think. I feel like it's only 50 items. Um, okay, I think this is another men's shirt. Yeah, Nordstrom, Men's Shop, Tech Smart, size 16, just a white button down. I think I asked my, says, my husband, he only like only wears button downs. Like what size he is. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm terrible. All right, made in China. So, okay, penguin jacket. There's that penguin label right there. Um, it is a size 36 S. Is that short? Most little, probably. Um, wool blend. So nice little jacket though. Um, yeah, I mean the cost of goods is good. That's what's keeping me pretty happy with this. I'm definitely gonna beef up my men's <laughs> items. This is another one of those weatherproof thermals. It is. This looks crazy. This looks really crazy. Cult of individuality. Well, that's, I would believe these pants come from a brand called Cult of Individuality. <laughs> Look at these. Whoa. They're like bleach dyed blue jeans. Wow. These are men's. 100% um, cotton. Do, do, do. Yeah, size 30, 34. Japanese sel is it salvage? It's supposed to be salvage. It doesn't look like that. Handcrafted to preserve the vintage appearance. Certain imperfections are considered. Oh, maybe it's like um, you know, what is that brand that they sell here? Like Urban Renewal that takes vintage pieces and redo redoes them, slaps their label on them. This could be it. These are. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely what I would say would come from a brand called Cult of Individuality. I, I see that, don't you? I see it. Okay, what we have here? Oh, we have Ted Baker. Ted Baker, London, size seven, but that Ted Baker sizing. It's a men's sweater. This is really pretty. My husband look really good in this. It, well, he looks good in anything. I find my husband extremely attractive, which I guess is a good thing. Yep, <laughs> that's nice. Oh my gosh, another one of these colored pants. Look at this. This is like really popular. <laughs> um, Brax. Brax feel good. I don't know that brand either. Learning some new stuff with these boxes. Um, these are the copper style. Go figure. Feel good pant. They are a size 34, 34. Kind of this rusty <laughs> color. There's a lot of those. <laughs> a lot of people like that color. Okay, I think this is women's at least. Okay, this is by, nope, Shirley, 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 Shirley. It looks like a cover up, I think, or kimono. I like this. Like it's like a, I feel like it's a cover up. Or it could be a kimono. I don't know. That's cool. Anyway, what size did I say it was? Don't know, it doesn't say. Does it? No, viscose. Maybe it's a one size. That would make sense if it were a cover up. So, I don't know. I didn't know what this is. Anyway, all right, all right. What this? This looks like a sweatshirt. Oh, there's Slate and Stone, extra, extra large, just a white hoodie. Okay. 
Alright, there's a tag. Um, 2XL on sale for $53. Alright. Wait, this is soft. Oh, this is that Calvin Klein again. This one is a large sleepwear. These are nice. I might keep these. Not gonna lie. Might keep these. Alright. Okay. Oh, look. It's something like, oh, it's um, In Bloom by Jaquil. I think this is, well, this would do good on my <laughs> trip too, but it's too small. <laughs> it's just an extra small um, little baby doll negligee. Um, all right. Another cast line, size large. This one is a really pretty um, green color. Sorry if I was looking to the side. I'm getting messages. Yep, this one's nice. I like this. Very soft and cozy. All right, this feels like wool because I feel like I'm itching already. Oh, it's a cashmere blend, but with wool. That's why. Halogen cashmere blend, 1X. That's nice. 70% wool, 30% cashmere. Um, let's see. I think it's just really wrinkled and has fuzz on it, but I don't see any damage, I don't think. Gotta be careful with wool and cashmere for holes. Now there is peeling and I can, but I think I can sweater shave it and get it off, be good as new. All right. All right, I'm not mad about that one. I mean, there's still a lot to go. There's still a lot to go. I feel like there's more than 50. Okay, so we have the Desi collection. That's a bridesmaid. Um, can you see that? Bridesmaid's dress, it's a bridesmaid's dress. Navy blue, long. This would be good if people are having weddings. Oh, oh good, it has straps, oh thank God. Look at that. It's really nice actually though. I remember this being expensive. Um, I was very careful when selecting my bridesmaids dresses because I didn't want them to have to spend a lot of money. Actually, no, that was my bridesmaids gift. I paid for their dresses. Although, oh, oh, you, I feel it. Home removal. Oh, it's home removal? Slide to open. I'll just leave it on because then I can see it's from the store. Um, anyway. Okay, so bridesmaids dress. It would only be the second time I've had Bridesmaid's Dress. I, the only one other time I've had it was Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's another John Rivados. Um, This is just a gray pullover. Just very simple. Size extra large. I have a lot of men's. It's a lot of men's. Oh, it looks like another Bridesmaid's Dress. This one's green. This one is Social Bridesmaids. Social Bridesmaids. Never heard of that brand, actually. Has some fake cups in it. Which makes me think this has been altered. I don't know. Anyway, it's green, strapless, kind of empire waist. Right face dress. I guess these would all be good colors for weddings this season, but I don't think a lot of people are having weddings right now. It's actually really sad. When I go to the thrift stores, I will see where people have donated like stuff that they obviously were decorating their wedding with and it, they weren't used because they canceled their wedding, but it has like the date on it. You know, has anybody else seen that lately? Cause it's really sad. <laughs> Very thankful that I got married in 2019. <laughs> okay, I think this is a bridesmaid's dress. Oh, very nice. Or maybe not a bridesmaid's dress. Oh, Carmen Mark Volvo Infusion. I've heard of this brand. Size eight, one shoulder. I think this is just like an evening gown. I don't think this is a bridesmaid's dress. Very fancy. I don't know who's going where, but they could look really, really um, put together if they wore this. That's nice though. I wanna have somewhere to go and wear something fancy like that. I mean, even if it wasn't COVID, I don't have anywhere to go that fancy. Um, all right. Ted Baker again, size five, gray, Pullover sweater, men's. All right, let's see another men's items. I feel like I only got like five women's items. That's okay. I mean, it was good men's items. I just like prefer women's items. What brand is this? You don't say what brand you are. Oh wait, no, you do in tiny letters. No, this says Try On. Is that a brand? Try On Fifty Four. Is that a brand? <laughs> is that like a 
like a sample where people try, <laughs> they were like, this is what you try on for the brand. I don't know, when you're getting measured, no idea. I don't know what this is. Don't see the size in a pocket either yet. Oop, 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 oop. Well, got threads. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Let's try on everybody. Which makes me think this is, I don't know. Anyway, sports coat, that's fine. I'll figure it out later. Okay, we are reaching the end. We are reaching the end. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. I think all the rest are women's items, if that makes me feel better. Okay. Top shop size eight. Just a little tank with a tie front. I probably wouldn't have spent six fifty on that. Or this, whatever this is, just because it's tiny. What is this? This is also top shop, size ten, and it's just like a tie front crop top. Mm-hmm. Okay. This looks like a bathing suit top. But it is new tags. By Rebecca by Rebecca Virtue. So Becca by Rebecca Virtue, size medium. Never heard of this brand, but it is a cute little bathing suit top. I like it. Okay. Okay, Leaf, which is sold at Nordstrom, size small. I got a lot of this in a, a Nordstrom box. Okay, Polone, I can't ever say this side. Polone, Polone. Um, new tag, so that's nice. Just a white, crisp, no, what am I trying to say? A, mm, just a white blouse. Oh, it looks like it's like a, a faux wrap. It buttons, but anyway. All right, last piece. Last piece, I think it is a men's item. Or maybe not. Oh, it's Vince. It's Vince, size large, men's hoodie. Okay. I don't I don't think I'm mad. The problem is, is it's like a lot of men's and I don't know anything about men's, so I'm gonna count the items. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so overall there was actually 54 items. Um but you know, I feel like the like underwear <laughs> Um, and the, the sticky bra does not really count. So I'm going to say 50. Um, so I don't, I'm not mad at this box. I definitely am going to make my money back because the items were not expensive. Um, I just, I can't feel as excited because I don't know a lot about a lot of these brands and a lot of it's men's, which just doesn't excite me as much, even if they are amazing brands. Um, but I'm going to say this was a success and I'll consider getting another box from this company. Um, I might, they have lots as well as palettes. So they have like only new tag stuff too. Probably we'll do that next time, but this is a sampling of what they offer. So guys, what did you think? For those of you who sell men's items, was that all good? You know, especially the weird pant. <laughs> Was any of that like really amazing? Let me know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. It really helps me out here on YouTube. Hit the subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I post more videos. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.